this is the Minota Hermetic 7, so this is the overall condition of the camera. Uh. I would say that the lens is pretty clean as well, and also the everything is good as well. Uh. Okay, the battery to change is right here. Uh. You can use a coin to flip it and then to change the battery. Okay, so right now I'm going to teach you how to use the camera first. So first thing first, we check the shutter. Uh. So this is pointing. Okay. To change the exposure, you can change right here. Okay, hold on. I have to press this button. You have to press this button in order to change the shutter speed uh, from auto to other modes. So right now I'll put that button mode to show you the shutter. So this is the shutter. Okay. And also this is for you to change the aperture. Okay, so shutter works fine. Okay, first thing first what we're going to do to is, is to insert the film. Uh, open the back of the camera right here. After that, get yourself a film roll. <coughs> we'll put here. You can put into one of the states right here. So make sure that you find the state first before to insert the film. Uh. After you put into the state already, this thing you put it right here. And after that, just wind it. <coughs> make sure that it's inside of the frame already. Uh. Okay, and also make sure that the film is parallel to the camera itself. Okay, right now you can see that the film counter on the top. When it shows number one, means that this is gonna be the first the first take. Uh. Okay, so for the shutter speed and aperture, right, it depends on the situation as well. Uh. So right now, since it's indoors, so I'm going to put under uh, a little bit. So maybe I'll put up one over 30. And for the aperture, I'll just put it at the biggest. Uh. Okay, and then to focus with the camera, is actually very easy as well. So you can look into the you'll find that it tells you what's the best aperture for you to shoot at right now. So right now it tells you the best aperture to shoot at is uh, hold on now, let me focus with my camera. Okay. So the best aperture for you to shoot at is either one or the aperture. And you can see that to focus with the camera right. Coming to the middle, there's a uh, there's a square right there. When you change the focus knob, it changes as well. So what you have to do is to make sure that it aligns right now, right here. After that, just press the shutter. So basically, that's it like, to focus it. Okay. And to change the aperture, you can just change right here. Like. Right here. Okay. So for the settings, you can actually put it to auto as well. as say if you are not confident with your uh, settings, so you can put auto and auto. And after that, everything will be automated. Like. So right now, everything is in automated. Like. You don't actually have to do anything for the meter to work. Okay. But let's say if you want to do it manually, you can just change it to 500 or whatever. Okay. For the aperture, you can set it by yourself as well. Okay. And after you're done shooting already, right, you can notice that you cannot wind this thing anymore and also can press the shutter. It means that you have to rewind it uh, just by pressing the button right here and after that, this thing will take it out like this and then just turn it. And when you feel that it became loose already, just go ahead and take the film out. So basically that's it with the camera, then thank you.